Hey guys, hope all is well. It is September the 10th, nearly 12 o'clock. Uh, literally in one hour's time, we've got the ECB press conference. We'll be live on YouTube for that, of course. Uh, I, I've been away for the last three days and where we're trading now was pretty much exactly where we finished on the Euro, where I uh, went away on Friday. Um, so not much has changed, right, from that. But uh, we did have a, a couple more days of dollar strength. Snap back yesterday. Uh, so poised quite nicely. Can we read too much into that? You know, is this a sign of uh, perhaps the, the market preparing for a more dovish uh, release? I think we have to half think about that. But on the flip side, you know, from a support point of view, we just hit an area of support that's been massively key and people take profit and we, and we rebound back higher. Um, so yeah, I, I obviously if you're, you know, looking to, to trade the announcement, you want to be aware of these levels. I think most importantly, that bottom that we saw yesterday is also the low of the 21st. A break of that, I'd expect a cleaner move down towards this double bottom from the 12th of August and the 3rd of August, and actually some support from the 28th. To the upside, a break of this level, there is uh, quite a fair bit of resistance, just a bit above there. So keep an eye on that 118.61. Uh, and if that was to, you know, or not to hold, then you're getting back to some of these key levels that did break down, uh, which I would have marked up around here. That's going to be key. You know, the bears will really want to defend that. Uh, but at the moment, looks range bound on the the bigger picture. Um, you know, you can see this solid area support one seventeen fifty nine. So I'd be keeping a watch on that. Pivot today is a bit of a zone, isn't it? Um, around the sort of one eighteen handle. Keep another watch on that. Uh, elsewhere, the pound uh, who who uh, had a bit of a recovery yesterday, but had been on a disastrous uh, losing streak. Where we finish the week will be key. You know, I'd be looking at. You see this whole support area here. We did find support initially before breaking through. Do we finish above there or not? I think that will be something to to keep an eye on. Obviously, if we are to push on, there is so many pre. I mean, look, it's just traded so nicely. I uh, have to be said, uh, but yeah, any of these previous areas of support from the previous lows of, of previous days will, will be areas where people would potentially look to, to get short again. But you can see this here, really holding, 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 holding on what was that key area. So sort of 130 handle, give or take a bit to the top. Um, but yeah, that would be worth keeping a watch on for the remainder of the day. Quick look at gold, which... Um, I mean, just having a look at that price action, it does look quite choppy, but like with a few of these dollar pairs, and I know gold isn't a dollar pair, but you know, priced in dollars, it's hitting their resistance level, like the euro, like the pound is. One, two, really knocking on that door. Something's got to give, which way uh, we'll soon find out. Pivot to the downside, I think if we break through there, you've got a bit of support at 1940, uh, but you would favor below the pivot for a bit of a run down. Above, 1959, uh, then I would be looking towards the R1 of the day in 1976. But a few of these dollar pairs just touching the, the top end of some resistance. Uh, the Aussie, I'd, I'd say, has got a bit more to go today, but this would be that area, 73 handle above there, and, and actually these, these dollar longs or the Aussie dollar short, euro dollar short, pound cable short, you know, you're, you're not really favouring it. So there's decision points to be made the bears of these markets really want to take over quick look over um, equities I mean the high of the day makes sense doesn't it it's, it's a, a very solid uh, resistance support area good support messy okay yesterday uh, on the beginning of the week but then you know the volume was a lot lower uh, and we hit that overnight and that's found to be a good resistance level. I'd say the pivot is, is key, 37.71, uh, the bulls need to defend that, the bears want to see us break through, a bit of a trend line from the, the highs, I think it's set up quite nicely personally. I'll keep a, a watch on this trend line if we do push to the upside. Uh, but today the focus on uh, the Euro and ECB uh, and of course how that could impact the other dollar pairs.